So the GoPro media mods of life are upon us and it's not looking good. It's not looking good for us. I bought the GoPro 8 knowing full well that the media mods would probably suck and they do. From what we've seen, I'm trying to get myself a copy in from Henry's. So I'll go to Henry's tonight. So from what we've seen, the mic itself on the mod, not very good. The only reason to buy it is if you want the external mic, which they already had an external mic thingy, but you had to jimmy rig a cage up just to fit it in there, sneaking it underneath. So what's the alternative to that? If you don't want to buy that, it's like a hundred and something plus tax here in Canada. We got some fixes. Oh, we got one right now. So I filmed a bunch of footage like a month and a half ago trying to build the perfect alternative to the media mod. And finally, we got the final piece from China. It did come with a small bit of coronavirus. But that's fine. Just cough it out, asshole. So I'll show you some footage and the evolution of what we've built here. But first, I have to ask, because I still don't know this. I had a conversation with a guy and I still don't get it. So someone tell me who has the media mod. Hey, buddy. Do you want us? Oh, God damn it. When you record with the GoPro 8, it gives you one audio file, but the right side is the front mic and the left side is the side mic. So you can, in theory, just copy the right side over to the left and we have only the front facing mic here. So that's a good thing. Someone tell me if the mod is the same thing. The mic on the mod is the front one on the right side and the back one on the left side and then you can copy and only have the front? Or is the one file mixed together and it's doing both the front and back, but just a little bit of the back when you want the front. Give me that backside, baby. So the real question is, have you heard any wind noise so far in this clip? It's blowing now a little bit. You can see those pine trees, they're wiggling. They're dancing. If you haven't heard any, or at least just a tiny minimal bit that didn't bother you, we have solved it. But let's go back to the beginning, my friend. The beginning of time. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. You turn left sometimes, asshole. Ignore the sirens and listen for the wind. I put a little wind jammer on here. I had the same solution on my Sony camera and it wasn't enough. So let's discover how to fix this. Of course all the wind stopped now. Hey buddy. Hey little buddy. Okay, wind picked up. Do you hear it? It basically stopped as soon as I said. Okay, so initial impressions. Look, I got goodies. I got goodies. These things are fantastic. Little case by Ulanzi. Protects the GoPro. I was worried. Putting it in my pocket. Oh no, the lens is damaged. Oh, it did nothing. We'll get to the wind thing. I'm gonna make a new one and I'll show you what I do and we'll see. We'll test its effectiveness because this isn't working. This little thing, it's not enough. And there is a little piece of foam in there. I put an extra piece. It's not enough. We need four or five layers. But this little tripod thing, this is the best by Telesyn. Links down below, of course. It does extend out a tiny bit. I do worry when you bend it. I do worry the whole thing's gonna collapse, but what a fantastic, now we got a bit of extra reach for the linear mode. Fantastic, collapse, it's light. The whole thing weighs like, I remember what it weighed, 179. So as we can see here in the Panasonic autofocus system showing us, the GoPro's 80% of the shot, what else is left? Why are you doing this to me? What were you even focused on? Let me get out and then you come in. You're the show now. Oh God. I hate you, Panasonic. Yay. Okay, now don't look at me when I come in. Okay, so this little wind bitch, that ain't enough. It ain't enough. This is a lie. This costs money and it lies to you. So we gotta fix it. I ordered more wind jammers. These are a little different. I'm afraid these loops. Those look skinny and weird. And then the furry things. Then we got this foam that just came in a package of some sort. I don't even remember what, but we're gonna cut like four, maybe five ovals of lust and paste them on layer after layer and then the foam flipper. And let's test it out. Okay, so to do this, all you need is that wind packer, the wind package, 
sticky in a fluff, you rip yours off, and then some random mass foam you got from Walmart. You have some, admit it. Loser. Now what we want to do is cut a foam piece that fits right in there. Like seven of them. All right, we pretty much got it. We got to do like seven of these, maybe. So do something like that. And now, now you have the blueprint, which you can trace just like you did in kindergarten. Okay, as you can see, we have five perfectly cut pieces that fit inside each other. Oh, that got sexual fast. Now don't be shy with the trimmings because as you can see, we're a little outside the edge. Okay, that was not even close to fitting, but now we have trimmed. Don't feel afraid to trim your edges. So we just peel this off now. Stick one on the GoPro itself as close to that lens as you can. That looks nifty good. Don't cut your fingernails before a video like this. You want to look like a hobo. That's the look we're going for here. I hope I've accomplished it. Okay, now we remove the little protector piece with your long fingernails. There we go. Perfectly coming off. I certainly didn't do four outtakes where it wouldn't come off. I got it the first time, like I always do here. Now we take the five pieces of foam, and don't you dare, don't you dare touch the glue. Oh, I'm touching it. Oh, I definitely am touching it. Oh, I should have trimmed it. No, that's, this is a nightmare. Hold steady. And then you put this over it. Oh, are you believing this? Are you believing the potential here? All right, did you see any of that? Now, hug it tight. Hug it tight, press it in there. All your love now will make sure it holds in the windiest of storms. We did it, so let's go take it out for a test. It should be good. I don't know if any wind hairs will get in the shot. It's close. I might have to trim a couple off the top edge there, give it a little mohawk. So let's go see if this works. And I do have something else on the way. It's in the sea right now. China's shipping it by the slowest boat they could find. They have to stop and catch dolphins unnecessarily for tuna. That's what their order is. So it's a the Wind Slayer thing designed for GoPro 8. So if this doesn't work, we put that Slayer on, there's no hiding it. The media mods will make all this obsolete. They won't fit. Oh, I wasted a lot of money. Oh, I just realized that. Oh, why did I spend so much? And time. Oh, time is money too. That compounds it. All right, there's not a lot of wind, admittedly, but how we doing? There better not be anything. Can you hear it? To create our own wind? So a couple thoughts on this system in general, these wind muffs. I find by themselves they don't work. That's why I'm trying to add the foam in there. That's what I was using all these years on the Sony X3000. And when a gust would come, just it would get it and you'd hear it and it's not good, it doesn't inspire confidence. Whereas the lav mic with a wind muff on it, you can feel it, like even when it's breezy, it's like, oh, I know it's not picking it up. Whereas this, like the tiniest breeze could get it. Oh, there's some gusts. There's some gusts, face it. Face the world, GoPro. Can you do it? We've gotten some gusties. You can see it in the leaves there. That one's wiggling. You saw it. Now usually I'd wanna not face it head on. You think you know the angles, it's like, oh, that should be safe. It's never right, you're never right. Mother nature wins always. It's windy. So one thing I will say about this, I forgot. That's wind. That's wind, that leaf is definitely moving. It moved. I swear to God, it'll move. Watch. Watch. Don't make me look like a fool. Come on, yay. So the cool thing about this setup, if it works, which I doubt, but it adds no weight to the camera. How much is that media mod gonna weigh? I just realized all the footage I shot in my house was at 24p and we're at 30p here. That's bound to look good, huh? That's fine. If you wanna mix them, actually having a good mix of 24p and 30p in the same timeline, it's a recipe for fun. Just do it. That's a movie.
It's a skill. You haven't even mastered that one. You call yourself a cinematographer. So how's it performing? There's slight amounts of wind. I hope. I hope. The only flaw with this system is it's not really a shotgun mic. It's still a stereo mic. The wind is picking. It is picking hard. If I have confidence with this, that will make my life much easier. I'll be so much happier. I can just film and not worry all oh, every wind noise it distracts my mind. If this test is failing right now, which it likely is, then we wait for the wind slayer from China. It's in the North Arctic Sea right now. Dolphins are licking it. But it should work better because of that. The saliva, dolphin saliva helps sound muffle everything. You didn't even know that. It's pathetic. So I've had a chance to review the footage. So far, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's doable. A couple problems though. It's not perfect. So now we're super windy today. We'll see how it handles this. That is storm weather. The other problem we got when I woke up this morning, my fluff was half off, half price. It was coming off the glue. They, they used a third world country glue and it doesn't stick to anything. So next clip will be with the wind slayer over this whole device. We got five layers of foam, a wind muff, and then a foam house, <laughs> a house. Let's wait for it. It's in the sea right now. It's coming. Oh, the wind. It's here. Not that you would know it. There's some wind. You hearing it? You better not hear it. It's blowing. Did we win at life? No. <laughs> Each stage of protection I added attracted more wind somehow. And now I'm stuck with this big giant fluff of foamy shit. Will Sony autofocus on it? Oh, you will show the world your beauty. This GoPro piece of foam dust. What a bunch of crap. And now it's annoying. I'm annoyed. I have to take this off every time I want to take the files out. I peel it off. Ow. All that effort months have gone by. It's okay. It works, but not full confidence. I want to stand in a hurricane and know for sure that all you can hear is me and the gentle breeze behind me killing everybody. The fun thing is, since I cheaped out on those wind fluffs, they just fall off. Every every couple of every couple weeks, they last. They, they're peeling off basically. The glue it's made of like honey or something. I'm gonna try to get one of those media mods in here, and I think the only solution, the best solution, is a lav mic. You just plug it right in the back, clip it on with that wind fluff, and then you have to have it tethered. Slight annoyance, but. That will be the best wind protection. So far from everything I've tested, the lav mic with the wind thing, it's a full coverage. So I'm sorry for wasting your time. We had fun. Sure, you're not gonna do this. Whenever I see a do-it-yourself thing, it's like, I'm not gonna do that, asshole. Why are you wasting our time? And I just did it to myself. That was fun. So links down below for all this coronavirus stuff. I like to think if I would have put the what just happened? Did it turn on? It sounded like it took a picture. Why would that scare me? Where was the picture sent? Oh, the government of China. They know who I am now. I like to think though, you put the four layers of foam and then you cut a small circle of this fluff, put that in and then a full fluff. Tiny fluff in the middle, then a full fluff coverage and then the wind slayer and then maybe another wind fluff on the foam and then wrap the whole thing in saran wrap and throw it over a bridge. We got nothing. We got nowhere. Thank you for watching it. Thanks for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribing for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Post your wind tips down below.